Hey guys, today we're gonna to show you how Farabee uses her word buttons and how I've taught her to talk with them. So the purpose of the word buttons for me was because I felt like Farabee was trying to tell me stuff and she couldn't tell me. She didn't have anything to you know, really tell me with other than just a bark. And Farabee is very, very expressive and talkative. So she would bark a ton, just trying to tell me stuff. You know, she would just look at me and just bark. And bark, and bark. And it was like, you know, what? <laughs> I didn't know what she was asking for. You have to go through the whole list. Just like when a baby's crying, you have to go through the whole entire list and like figure out, okay, these are the things, process of elimination. So this has really helped us to not have to have that process of elimination. So she can just go over and tell me what she needs. And I haven't given her a lot of options. We have eight buttons like this. And out of the eight buttons, I have given her options like go outside, go for a walk, because those are two different things. Sometimes she needs to go outside and she just wants to go outside to go to the bathroom or, or just to like go. Sometimes she wants to go for a walk, so that's a different button and she can distinguish between those two. Her other buttons include look at me, play. She has a mama button. She has a bye bye phone button. I gave her a bye bye phone because I feel like I'm on the phone a lot or on my computer a lot. And so personally, I think that's irritating whenever I'm around someone and they're on their phone all the freaking time. So I gave her a bye bye phone button. If I have my phone out or my computer, she doesn't have a computer button. But if I have my phone or my computer out, she will go over there and use that button if it's been too long and I'm ignoring her. She has let's do tricks. I haven't given her more than eight buttons because honestly, I can't think of more than eight things that she might need. She always has food available because I free feed and she always has water available. So that's kind of the, you know, the only other two things I could think of that she would need are food and water but she has that available all the time, so she doesn't need to ask for it. I didn't give her toy specific buttons like ball or whatever her favorite toys are. I didn't give her stuff like that because I feel like Farabee play, like that's enough. Like, you know, okay, you wanna play. So then she can kind of guide me and show me what she wants to do. She want me to throw a ball or, or whatever. Then she can get a toy and show me. So her buttons have full sentences on them or at least more than one word. Um, you can do this however you want. I've seen people do a single word and their dog goes you know, to several different buttons to form a sentence. I felt like that would take up too many buttons. You know, if you're gonna have the whole entire like English language <laughs> written on buttons for your dog, it's gonna get expensive. So she doesn't have to press like want to go for walk or want whatever. I feel like she's not gonna press a button she doesn't want. Like, so there's no reason for me to have a want button, if that makes sense. But do this however you want. I've seen a lot of people do different ways, so just whatever makes sense for you. And that is my thought process on why I did a sentence on the button rather than just a single word. The buttons that we have are the ones that are the answer buttons, and I think they're from Learning Resources is the company. I'll link them below for you guys. These are the best buttons. There's some other ones that are smaller that suck, and they sound like really crackly whenever you use them, but these are the ones they're legit. The battery seems to last for a long time. We haven't had to replace the batteries at all so far, so that's awesome. These are also big enough for your dog to actually touch, which is amazing because the little buttons, they're so tiny, it's like not, it doesn't work as well. And these also press super easy and they record quite a bit. So you can say pretty, you know, like a full sentence. You can say a full sentence and record it on one of these and it's fine. So you're probably wondering, how do you teach your dog to use the buttons? So for us, this was really, really simple. Farabee was already used to touch, so she knew to touch something, and then also she had used a bell before. And so this was really just an easy transition for us. I don't even think I showed her how to use them. I just recorded them and then I pressed them and then she was like, whoa, I can say stuff. And so she just started using them. So if you actually have to teach your dog how to use them, you need to have a few basic skills first. So your dog needs to know touch. So you teach that by touch. Yeah, okay, <laughs> good girl. So you just teach that with touch. And then what you would do is move the button to your hand, which I don't know if you guys can even see. So after they have the basic skill of touch down, then you would show them to touch the button. So touch. <laughs> yep, okay, thank you. <laughs> and that's how it works. And so she will go over and do full sentences. So our buttons are set up right along this wall. As you can see, it kind of dips in right here. So it's a really good place for them. Um, and I just have them sitting on the floor. I don't have them up on anything. I don't have them like glued to a board or anything. 
I think that would be a really cool thing to do, but we've just never done that. I've just never taken the time. And they have little grippy feet on the bottom, so they really don't slide around too bad. The cool thing with the buttons. So I love them. I love the buttons. I think they're really cool. I love that she can go tell me stuff. And what's really cute is Farabee can't read, obviously. So I don't have the tops of them labeled with anything. Like she knows what order the buttons are in. So she can go over and immediately tell me what she wants to say. But if she makes a mistake and she presses the wrong button, you know, for what she was not thinking, if she presses like outside and then she really wanted to say play, she will go press the Farabee play button like 10 times <laughs> to like correct herself. Like it's erasing what she said before. So it's really cute. And she also uses the mama button and then she'll use like randomly and just say it a million times. I don't know why. Or she'll say, mama, look at me. Or mama, I love you. Which is really, really sweet. Cause she knows I love you is, you know, like I tell her I love you all the time and hug her and kiss her. And so whenever she says I love you, she usually wants me to hug and kiss her but she could just come up to me and I would hug and kiss her anyway, but I don't know. I don't know if she understands what I love you means, like as far as, you know, what the, the words mean to say it, but she definitely knows that when she presses that, that it means hugs and kisses. Um, I did not teach her any of these button skills with treats. I've seen people teach it with a treat before, but I think for Fairby, the reward was that she could communicate and just tell me what she wanted. So obviously, if she asked to go outside, we go outside. If she asked to play, at first, if she asked to play with a button, like if she pressed her Fairby play button, I would go play. We've had them almost a year now, so I don't do that. If she says play and I'm like, no, we're, we got stuff to do, then I'll tell her, I'm like, not right now or whatever. Because it's not gonna discourage her from using the button because she already knows, like she can ask stuff in there sometimes that I'm gonna say no. Like if she presses the go for a walk button 10 times in a day, we're not going for a walk every time. I mean, we're just not. And she's pretty good about not asking for stuff at random times. Like she kind of knows around like, you know, the times that we do stuff in our routine. And so a lot of times she'll press it maybe a few minutes early because she's thinking, I kind of am ready to go for a walk. You know, it's like 30 minutes early, but she's not too bad about just begging for stuff randomly. I did notice that she'll say, let's do tricks. She does that a lot. I really thought it was because she wanted to do tricks and I'm starting to think that she's wanting cookies. <laughs> but either way, she always does tricks for her cookies, so it's not a big deal. But I'm starting to kind of think that she might just be like thinking, hey, you know, a cookie would be good right now. Let's do some tricks so I can get one, which is fine. At first, whenever you're training your dogs with buttons, you need to actually do what they ask on the button. You have to kind of do what the button says at first to reinforce that that is what it's gonna do. That way they know, like, if I press this, it means we do this. And they get that positive reinforcement. Do you guys notice every time I do a video, Fairby, like, stands right here? <laughs> so I'll link the buttons below for you guys. We've really enjoyed having them. And I really think it's cut down her barking a ton. So like I said, before we had the buttons, she would just bark nonstop. And she was trying to communicate. And I'm not really one to, like, tell my dog to not bark. If I can tell they're needing something, Instead, I try to figure out what it is. And I know there's different people who respond differently. I've had people actually say something to me about that in a dog group and they're like, you should never respond to your dog if they're barking, you should ignore it. But the way I look at it, that's how she communicates. She needed something. So by giving her a way to communicate with me with the buttons, it's eliminated a ton of barking. She still will bark occasionally, but you know, it's usually if she sees something or if she hears something, which at that point, yes, bark. You don't need to go over and tell me on a button I hear something. Like, no, girl, if you hear something, shout it from the rooftops because I want somebody to hear my dog barking in my house. So that's how I feel about it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this has been helpful for you guys and I hope this has inspired you to help your dog learn to talk. I think it's really fun. And like I said, it's a pretty affordable way to do this and it's a lot of fun for your dog. And Personally, I think it's a lot of fun for me to hear what she wants to say. And I know it's my voice on the button, but I love whenever she presses the mama, I love you button. Like, cause they're two separate buttons. So she has to actually go out of her way to say mama, and then I love you. And it's just like, oh my gosh, I love you too. So it's really nice. It makes me feel good. 
and it's fun for her to learn this. So I will link the buttons for you guys below. I'm gonna link a video up here for you guys for server stock training, something just for you right here, and a subscribe button up here, and we will see you soon. Bye guys.